Welcome back to Sunday Meds. Today I want to talk about the difference between being alone versus being isolated. I have received a lot of feedback from persons who have been concerned that my journey with God in this season seems to be a very isolating one. The majority of my time is spent one-on-one -on -one with God day after day in fasting, prayer, worship. But there is a difference between being alone with God and spending one-on-one -on -one time with Him, even in an intentional way, a very set-apart way, as I have been called to these recent years, than being isolated or taking myself away from community. And throughout the Bible, I see the Lord doing this as a pattern where he draws persons aside to him in a kind of wilderness season so that he can have that very quality, intimate, intentional, one-on-one -on -one time with them. Yes, we are all a part of the body of Christ, but we are going to be held accountable for our personal relationship with God. On that day, the question that needs to be answered is, do you know God and does he know you? Not necessarily, how many ministries were you involved with? How often were you at the Bible study and the church meetings? But did you actually really have a personal relationship with God? And any relationship requires, necessitates one-on-one -on -one time with that person. And it is no different for our relationship with God. There are so many voices out there. There are all these opinions that are being thrown out there on social media. Everybody has an opinion, everybody has a voice, everybody's saying something. So we need that one-on-one -on -one time with God to hear what is God saying about this matter? What is God's opinion? What is God saying to me? Because all these people with all their opinions and their viewpoints, not saying that all of them are wrong, but they don't know you like God knows you. They really might be prophesying from the Lord in truth about this season, but only God can tell you and guide you in a very customized way on what is this season of your life about and what are his plans for you specifically and where is he bringing you to and what is he taking you out of so we need that one-on-one -on -one time with God to hear his opinion above all else of course community is great it is important it is necessary God models it for us with the trinity and when he created the church and when he created the family structure we weren't hatched from eggs we were meant to live in community among other people it is very 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 necessary but there are different seasons where you might not need to be around all the people all the time and then other persons around us in our community might also be going through other things where they're just not going to be accessible as they once were and so we need to have that one-on-one -on -one alone time with God to know the seasons to know the signs of the time to know where we are on the timeline of our own life and what is a story that God himself is writing with us through us alone time with God is also necessary so that we can make room for the possibilities and the things that he wants to do in us. So if we're always our own people, we're always participating in some ministry, we're always going to some conference, always at church, how are we listening to and learning of the plans that he has for our lives, these great plans beyond what we can know and what we can imagine, beyond what the people around us even might be reflecting or maybe even able to tell us. So the alone time is also necessary so that we can make room for God himself to imprint upon us the images, the ideas, the thoughts, the plans that he has for our lives so that we can partner with him to get this thing done. Alone time is also important so that we're not distracted by all the other voices, by the cares of the world. It is so necessary to spend quality one-on-one -on -one time with God and I just want to encourage you that if God is calling you aside, even outside of the normal daily time that we need to be spending with him one-on-one, -on -one, it doesn't automatically mean that you are isolating yourself. Be encouraged. See you next time.